Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to be working on number 46 on the CBES Elementary Math Practice Test. You'll notice 46 has this big table here. Whenever you're given a table, it's always really good to skim it over, pull out the key information before you read. That way, when you actually read the question, you have a lot of background knowledge and you're prepared to read over the question. So do that now. Pause this video, pause it, read it over, scan over the information there. Uh, I'm hoping that you see that we have a schedule here, a class schedule or the, a school schedule with uh, class periods and start times and end times. And maybe you also noticed that there was a, uh, a missing start time for the fifth period. All right? So I'm using, so I'm, I'm literally following the instructions that it says. It says use the table below to answer the question that follows. And you're going to remember to give yourself 30 seconds to scan over that table or that diagram to pull out that background information. Now I get to the question and I'm ready for it. It says the partial school schedule above shows the start times and end times of class periods. That's what I observed. Except for lunch, all the classes are the same length. I didn't see that coming, but, but now I do see that that's possible here. Doesn't look like lunch is the same length. What is the missing start time for the fifth period? Oh, so we are trying to find that start time. Well, well they sort of, uh, by pointing out that lunch isn't the same length and that all these others have the same length, it kind of gets me focused on the, the length of the class, the classes themselves. Because that length, if I know that this is an, I know the length of this, I can work backwards from my end time and find my start time. All right, so we have to find the length. So I could, I could do it with this first period here. I could do 840 to 9.36, and I'll do a little marker there. That's going to represent 9 o'clock. And I know from, from let's say, from 9, from, from 9 to 9.36 is plus 36 minutes, right? And from um, 8.40 to 9 is plus 20 minutes. So we're doing plus 20, plus 36. So we find out that this class period from here to here is 56 minutes. Now, now that I know that it's 56 minutes, I can go back and I can kind of do a similar diagram here. I know this whole thing has to add up to 56 minutes. I have an end time of 1.15. I don't have the start time. I do know that it ha all of this has to add up to 15 minutes, so I go back and I say, well, from, uh, I guess this is 1 p.m. here, and this is going to be 12 something. I can go back and say from uh, 1, 1 to 115 is 15 minutes. Now, what would I add to 15 minutes to get to 56? Well, if you weren't so sure, you could just do, fit, uh, oops, you could just do uh, 56 minus 15, and you when you do the when you do the subtraction out, you get 141 minutes. Never, never be afraid to do that. So we know that this is going to be plus 41 minutes. So plus 41 minutes plus 15 gets you 56 minutes. So we have 12 o'clock minus 41 minutes. Hmm, what is it? What would the start time be? Well, if you look at the answer choices here, there's only one time that when you add 41 minutes, it's going to get you to 1 p.m. And that's B here. All these other ones, this, would, this wouldn't quite make it. This would get you over 1 p.m. These all would get you over 1 p.m. Now, from 1 p.m., you add that last 15 minutes. So in total, you're adding to your start time 56 minutes. And you find out that you know, this, in fact, would be your start time. This problem, although it's, uh, the math isn't that hard, it's, really, it's one, another one of those problems where it's really easy to make a careless mistake. Maybe you don't arrive at the, the right amount of time between the classes of 56 minutes. Maybe when you're working backwards, 
you pick one of the times that doesn't work. Um, so make sure when you're coming up with that time and all these different um, calculations on you know the length of the classes and working backwards, make sure you have some sort of graphic organizer or some method to organize the information so that you can get the answer fast and with accuracy. That's really the key stuff with all these problems. Okay? All right, check out this problem. Try it on your own. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, team. I look forward to uh, hearing from everyone in the comment box below. Have a great day. Take care.